Morning, everyone, and welcome to the uh, inaugural episode of the Twin Valley Behavioral Healthcare Replacement Hospital Project video update. Uh, this project takes place in the uh, Hilltop neighborhood here in the city of Columbus uh, in the state of Ohio. Uh, it's approximately $110 million worth of construction and will provide a brand new inpatient behavioral hospital uh, for the state of Ohio. Uh, approximately 208 beds uh, with about a quarter of a million new square feet and is going to be built using the uh, CM at risk delivery method. Uh, the hospital is uh, being built for the uh, Ohio Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services and the Ohio Facility Construction Commission uh, is our contracting authority. Um, by way of introduction, my name is Eric Troll. Uh, I've been an architect with Hasa Stop Architects for over 26 years. Um, I'll be leading the CA team uh, who will have a full-time on-site presence here. Uh, this is our second major hospital project uh, that we've uh, that we've done for ODMH. Uh, the one prior to this was the North Coast Behavioral Healthcare uh, project up in uh, Summit County that was completed in uh, 2016, um, as well as a slew of other smaller renovations and improvements to the other hospital campuses around the state of Ohio. Um, Kassenstab Architects has developed a, a specialty uh, in behavioral healthcare, uh, as well as a hands-on intensive and extensive presence uh, during the CA phase. Uh, we have found that having having an architect sort of in the trenches, as it were, uh, during the uh, construction process um, helps a great deal uh, in resolving issues that will arise daily um, and helps to accelerate uh, communication between the entire team. We, we found that this really helps uh, the team as well as the project uh, and final outcomes. So we, uh, we're big proponents of, of this level of uh, engagement. So this is the site uh, that you're uh, seeing behind me. Um, probably something in the neighborhood of uh, 60 acres, if I remember correctly. Um, and over the uh, next 27 months of work, what you see going on behind me is uh, uh, some excavations, uh, trying to get rid of uh, foundations from old buildings 50 years ago that were on this campus um, and so uh, they're going to you know do uh, rough grading excavation for foundations we're going to be using some geo piers uh, in this uh, application uh, and then after about 27 months we should have a brand new completed hospital um, and then when the uh, existing uh, hospital is vacated they've all moved over into the new new structure we will, uh, we will go about spending the next four to five months uh, demolishing and, and, re and restoring the site of the, uh, the existing hospital that's here now. So leave comments if you'd like. Uh, ask me questions uh, regarding the construction. If you see something that uh, you want me to delve uh, a deeper dive into, uh, I certainly can do that. Um, subscribe to our channel, as it goes without saying, so that you don't miss any updates. Um, and uh, so I'll just leave you now with the hope that we all stay safe and healthy uh, in this time of COVID because uh, we, uh, we all have some challenges to, uh, to, to, to deal with it. Um, but this project is going to move forward despite it all. Thank you and see you again soon.